morning guys. Well, I did think I would get another video on before my last one, but my mum has been is still poorly, so um, she's been my priority. So in between, I have been making things to go on my Etsy store, um, in the shop. So some bits are finished and some bits aren't. So I'm just going to show you a quick flip through of what I've been up to. Um, I've also got some bits and pieces. I just want to show you quickly because I was um, I tried to alter a book. So I've actually taken out some of the pages um, and I've gessoed them. Um, and I just wanted to do this is one I'm going to take over time and add bits and pieces of stuff as I go along but I was trying to um, use up some of the book pages so I've come up with the like little pockets so um, I don't know whether they're new or not but this is what I thought I'd show you anyway um, I wanted something to put on the front of the page to just pop little notes in um, and bits and paper bits of paper that um, I might need to do or little tags and everything so what it is it's just the pieces of, of book paper so i'll show you how to do that in a minute i'll just show you a few flip throughs of what i've been up to um this is the one that i'm on at the moment um this is one of my little bird folders um well one of my folders and this is on the bird thing this is beauty of the birds so i've just been making um a few little files to go in here look um, this is what these are the ones that I'm in making now and I've got a couple of little pockets there a few little embellishments on the top so that would pop into there um, and then I'm just been making one of my little postcard books so I'm going to pop some paper in there um, so that's nice and then a couple of tags oh this is a little booklet as well that I've made it's got lace and doilies on it and then this is one of my tags, Beauty of the Birds. Actually, I bought some, um, ordered some stuff off AliExpress, which is this um, ribbon here, which was white, this lace. What did I do with it? Here, it comes in these little packets here, like this. So I actually, when I buy um, like lace and ribbon and stuff, I do tend to buy just white because um, I tea stained it and it came out really really lovely um, so that's the difference um, so if I buy white then I can just colour it whatever colour is I like so and then you're not left with ribbon that's odd colours that you tend to purchase so I'm really pleased with how that came out so I've done that um, and then got all these little tags these ones oh also i bought some of this which is the the leaf um one it's like a leaf ribbon thing so what i've done on some of them i've actually cut the leaves off and actually stuck them on individually so it's sort of like collaged onto here um, and on this one i've actually used the whole thing like that and i just sewed it all the way through it so it's part of the the branch and then that's one of my seam binding flowers I thought that looked really pretty so I put these in here like this these are just little journaling they could be like journaling cards or you can use them as pockets um, so I'll be making a few more of these and popping everything in here and I've got some more um, little word um, tags to do the nice little lace I and mean, that lace is gorgeous how it's come out so that's my little birdie one that I'm working on at the moment. I also have this one, which is another envelope um, embellishment kit. So on the front, um, I've just stamped on here and I've made a little pocket on the front here. This envelope, actually, what I did, because I wanted to sew the pocket on. Let me just take everything out a minute. Pop it out. I actually cut down the sides with a knife. I sliced down the sides here so that I could actually sew the pocket on and sew this on as well. Um, and the little bits of fabric, instead of sticking them on, I actually sewed them on. Um, and then I just sewed it back up again. So I thought it came out really well. So that's good. So that's the front of it. So that's the envelope. I've made a big tag so you can journal on the front just to go in there. And then this, I thought these colours went really well together. This is some of the um, sari ribbon that I've got. 
So what I've made, I've made some little dingly danglies with my pinch clips. So I've made three of those and I've lightly um, covered it with gesso. So it's a little gesso and on these. So I look, it's really pretty. I've got those colours just so nice. And then I've made some little ruffles. So I put them on, on little bulb clips, but obviously you can take them off and actually stick them onto your journals um, or embellish them like however you want. And there's a smaller one. Um, and then what have we got here? Oh yes, this is what I've got. Little, I was having a go at making the um, accordion little books, little files. So I've made this one out of some book pages. Um, so that's that one here, look, which I've actually sewn together this one. And I've got a little bit of Velcro to, to keep it together. And then we've got a bit of the sari ribbon. And then these stamps that I've got, I've, um, what's it called, put diamond glaze on them. So that's a clock on there. So that goes on there. And then I've made a couple of little tags. And then I've diamond glaze. So these are perfume bottles and that's a fan. A little handbag with perfume bottles on it so these are just nice little tags um, so look these are lovely that's a little teapot there and teacup that's a little you can make that into a pocket or it's just a little journaling tag um, I've made a little um, wallet envelope so you can just pop little bits in there um, there's another tag there so write little bits on and this one is um, little calendar just a monthly calendar um, so you can do that at any month you want so if you've got something special going on and then we have another few more little green ones so I thought they were really nice and I thought purple and blue goes really nicely and then I've just got a little book so that's just a little, little journaling book so that's little bits that I've been making for that um, embellishment kit and then you'll pop inside and there we go so that's those two and I've also got which I'm in the middle of doing are some journals so they're just plain journals so these are fabric ones so I haven't actually put them all together yet I've made the um, covers so we've got this one and then I've got a blue one all the pages are the same so all the pages will be exactly the same in each one um, so we've got the blue one and then I've got a lovely lace one here so that's pretty so I shall be finishing those off so they've got I think they've got roughly about 40 pages so they've got tea stain paper they've got the graph paper I've got some um, gessoed um, book pages in there and then we've got some um, a few stamps on them as well and a bit of um, scrapbook paper in there, which I've got here, which comes out so it goes through. So it's just going to be a plain one. I'll pop some little bits and pieces in there as well. Um, so I'll finish those off. And each of my journals do, do come with a little bag, so they'll have a little matching bag with them as well. So they go together. So I shall be finishing those off to go on my Etsy store. I've got so many things going on. I don't tend to finish anything at the moment. And this one here, this is another like um, journal wallet pack that I've got here. And this is made with the Beano comic. So people in the UK will know Beano because it's a very, very famous comic. Um, I think it's been going since the 30s. Um, I think it's actually still going today. So I've made, when I was in England in March, um, I bought a couple of these comics and I didn't know what to do with them so I thought I'd make a little file folder so with the Beano comic so this one is 1984 um, so that's quite old anyway so it's a comic um, so obviously it's got little bits and pieces on here so these are all just I've made little um, journaling tags on here so you can use them as however you want you can use them in, in journals um, you can pop them onto handmade cards um, and that's Dennis the Menace on here so that's and that's popped onto an old postcard so these can go in your books and then I've just made a little wallet to hold some of them in 
So we've got the cartoon bit on there. That's got a little pocket in there to pop things in. Then I've opened it up and then we've got the tags in there. Um, we've got another pocket there. And then we've got another pocket there. So we've got lots and lots of, of um, little journaling spots or pockets that you can use these for. We'll just pop those in here, look. So they're just parts of the, the comic. So I thought they were absolutely fab. I had real fun doing this one. So it brings back lots of memories of childhood, which seems a long, long time ago now. <laughs> so we've got a little pocket there. And I've got a little tuck spot there. So um, that goes in there. And then we've got some more on here. So these are little, these are bigger ones. So I thought this was really lovely. So if you know anybody that collects comics or just loves the Beano comics, I think this is a great gift for them. Um, and these just pop in the front. And that one can go as another little pocket there. So that's lovely. There we go. That's another thing that I've been up to. Um, so what I'm going to show you now how I came to what have I done with them? Here they are. I was making some of these um, accordion folders. I started making because I saw them on Pinterest, and I know lots and lots of people have done them on on YouTube and things like that. So I thought I'd give it a go. This one I made with small little envelopes, um, but I don't really like the white in there. I really should have tea dyed them, but I popped some green and I just popped it a little um, velcro catch over the top so you could pop that into a journal you could even stick it on the side um, stick it on a page and open it out to pop things on um, and then I started making them out of the book pages so this was the first one I've just made the three three little pockets on this one here and I actually just made the little pockets and, and sewed them up the sides um, on that one and this one here as well, just made a flip over. This bit here is what I've used um, off the envelopes, which I had cut off from making the, um, from putting the actual envelopes in my journals. So I thought they came to good use. And then I just made some, some little ones, which I thought were really cute. And I've got a little tuck in at the bottom, and a bit of fabric on the back, a little bit of seam binding there. This one, um, I haven't got a clue what, how I came to doing this one because it just went all completely wrong when I was sewing it. But I thought it would look quite nice. I didn't want to throw it away. Where's my book gone here? In here, you could actually even pop it on the front. You could stick that down and then you've got a whole journaling section there and a whole journaling section there and that can be the front. You could just clip it up there, you could have a little clip somehow. You could put a bit of Velcro button on there so you just lift it up. Um, and then you could use it as a journaling. So I really don't know how I messed up so badly on that one, but it came to good use. So out of your mistakes comes something else. So there we go. So these ones here are very, very easy to make. Um, these are the pages that I pulled out of this book. Um, so I was pulling out and they were coming out in four. So look, so that's what I did. So let's just pop these back in here. Well, this page here, this is one I just sewed and this is actually shoe polish. And it came out really well. I thought it would um, be a bit greasy, but it's not. And I thought that came out and I thought that looked really nice. So you can, I have seen people using like the shoe polish, the different coloured ones, so I tried it. I thought that looked really nice. So if you've got a lot and you didn't want to use your ink up, and you've got a lot of pages to do, the shoe polishes are really good because it's very cheap. Um, and, it, I, and it comes out really well. So there we go. Another trial that I was doing. I'll just pop these over here. Pop that over there. So what I did, I had, as I pulled the pages out, to make this one here the same, all as I did, so you have the, the end that's connected there, so I folded over the first one right to the end, like that, and then the second one 
I've moved it up just a little bit so you've got like a little gap here so it gives you that little ledge here so it's not so so you if you bent them all over the same it's, it was it would be difficult to actually pop the bits inside so you've got like a little ledge here so you can see here look you can sort of eyeball it a little bit so it's roughly there Let's bend that down so it gives you little edges and then we've got this one that will be roughly there There we go, so you've got the four little bits here and what I did, I just glued them down with a bit of glue stick. You can sew it as well. So I've just glued these. This one I sewed, this one was the first one and instead of, I made them all the same size and then I just bent over the edge like that because I wanted the, the this to do that. So you can just vaguely see where I've just sewn it down the, the inside where I've bent it over um, but this way I think it's a lot easier so I just glue it down like so So many things you can do with book pages. I'm sure people have got hundreds, hundreds. Put this down. And there we go. So what you can do, you can distress it as much as you like um, around the edges here. So um, like I've done, I've done it on this one, and this one on here. I've just decoupaged on here. Decoupaged the napkin pop some lace on here now I've got a little butterfly and a little bit of fabric there and these butterflies were part of the decoupage so you can put all sorts of bits on the front and to stick it what I did on this one I actually just sewed it around the edge and I sewed it down here as well um, just to make sure that that was a bit stronger which I think is probably a good idea so it doesn't come apart um, but I just got some tacky glue what you can do to, if obviously whichever size you want it, I might actually cut this one down. Whichever I've done with my, um, here we go. I'll just chop this one down a little bit small because it's a bit, a bit, it's a bit too long. So just chop it down a little bit. tacky glue just squeeze a little bit down the edge here if it will come out okay. just down the edge here squash it down and then the next one Squish that down, squidge it down. So there we go. So then you have your four, no, your three little um, tuck spots. So as well, if you want to do, like I said before, you could just glue it around the edges and stick it on your page, and then you can have four little tuck spots on here. So then you can just decoupage the front or stick whatever you like, some ribbon or anything, papers that actually go with um, your journal that you're making. And then you've got a lovely little tug spot. So there we go, guys. So that's what I've been up to lately. Um, our internet's been a bit funny as well. So we've had to have a new um, provider. So that's taken up a lot of time as well. So hopefully 
I can get a few more videos on and they will be quicker to upload. So there we go guys, so I hope you've got to check out my Etsy store, some of the bits will be on there um, and all the bits that I'll be finishing so I'm going to be adding lots and lots of bits and pieces on there. Um, have a go at doing this, use up some of your um, book paper. So I hope you're going to have a good day um, and I will see you soon. Thank you so much. Bye bye.